All right, you guys. So about two and a half years ago today, Example and I started to work on the witch farm. The original plan that we had was to strip mine all the terrain in the spawn radius down to bedrock in order to completely remove any possible place that something could spawn so that the only place the game would be able to spawn things would be in the witch hut, therefore giving us the maximum rates. Now, as you saw in the 2016 base progression video, we made some major progress on this idea this last year. And as I stated in that video, what you're gonna be seeing obviously in this video and some future videos is what we were doing. Some of the recorded footage I have of us working on the witch farm. Uh, and mostly you're just gonna be getting, uh, the benefit you're gonna be getting out of it is the conversations that Example and I were having. So some of the footage and some of the videos is not gonna be super interesting, um, but you're gonna hear the thought process behind certain things that we're doing. And occasionally there will be videos where we were just sort of taking a break from what we were doing, just having some fun and creative mode, doing some silly things. Um, so I, you guys can look forward to those videos as well. But uh, for now, I'm gonna just jump in and let you guys see what we've got. Wow, oh, these mobs are spawning thick and fast, man. <laughs> oh, so is it is it the same uh, same goal as before? Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I, so I, I, I thought, oh, I, I don't really feel like doing anything at the moment, so I thought I'd yeah, just come here and just dig it. And it really bothers me that we haven't done this, you know? Yeah, like, are we doing it chunk by chunk, or...? Yeah, I was, I was pretty much doing this whole area and going straight up, because we got... We got um, so if, if you were to start at the top, you could just dig straight down? The other yeah, we well, could, could do that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the easiest way, uh, except for the lava is the only thing. You might want to have fire-resist potions on you. Um, I, I've got some blocks up there despawning. I need to get rid of this stuff. Okay. Go ahead. And grab, grab those blocks and then I'll oh, hold I go. Forgot, forgot to bring an arrow, but I just got one from that. Uh... Yeah, yeah. The, um, I'm also short on food here. I don't have a chicken cube, so like it's a bit stupid that I don't have one. But oh, yeah. Well, I've only got uh, 47. Uh, I was hope I was banking on you having something. So <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say grab something on the way, but I've got I've got some food here. It's not a far away to get it. I mean. Well, as long as you've got uh, a speed beacon and uh, a re regen, regen yeah. you should be. How did you yeah. get up there? The special ladder. <laughs> I mean, steer thing that I made. <laughs> oh, oh you, there's another side. Uh, I saw you on this side and thought you were already up there. Okay, so I think what we should do is go to the top and dig yeah. down. Oh, let's just go straight up here then. Because it's actually not that far. No, it's not that far. It's not that bad. And especially with the beacons, it's just going to be easy. Yeah. Did it's I? Just like all the um, did I add you to the YouTube Academy group? I don't think I did. I don't know. I should add you because um, I, I made kind of a point when I started it that I wasn't going to add people from Minecraft. But mm. A, you're not only doing Minecraft. And, uh, oh, look, at you got your null signs. No, 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 no. Um, but uh, uh, I'm going to start doing this thing every week. Oh, I didn't bring a shovel. That's all right. Um, I, I'm going to start doing this thing every week where I'm going to start, even though I'm not putting up new videos and stuff, I'm going to measure my views and my um, subscribers well, because, on the new channel uh, Sorry. On a, maybe on both channels just you know I might I might yeah. I might make the other one more more of what I'm like you know trying to do you know like I'm, yeah. I might that won't that'll be my focus but the thing is that um, a really great quote I heard was that um, metrics that get measured get managed um, and hmm. let me change. And that's very true if you think about it. Like when you're working out, if you if you want to lose weight but you don't check your weight every day and you're not tracking how the progress you're making, uh, it's easy to quit, you know. Mm. Um, and if you're oh I'm gonna drown. <laughs> if you're um, if you're working out, you know, and you're not keeping track of your uh, like. What like if let's say you're trying to get a new max in your bench press or something? If you're not mm. keeping track of what it is, like it, you don't get there as fast. Like let me put it this way: it, when you when you make it a point to track your metrics and stuff, um, it keeps it at the sort of the forefront of your mind, right? Mm. Um, right. And it keeps you focused on it. So um, even if you're not doing anything. Um, it can be one of those little things that keeps you motivated. Once you start to see, especially if you track over a long time, you'll start to see that exponential growth. Because we know, you and I both know, especially you, that 
YouTube is an exponential growth platform. Mm. You know, I'm since I have a pick, I'm just gonna start doing the the stone. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of picks. If you break it, just well, I I have mending, so I'm I'm hoping I'm interested to see how this goes. Probably it's not. only gonna work if you if you bust up lots of ore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but it is it is a loot or a fortune, so. Um, but but basically, I haven't really put up anything of value on my channel in a long time. Nothing that people are no seed videos. Nothing that I haven't I have seed videos, but I haven't put up anything that people are interested in. You know, it's just stuff that's been more for me than it, for anybody else, right? Mm. Oh, dang it! So here's the problem with going uh, with going down is the stupid uh, phantom blocks. Yeah, that's right. Um, but uh, regardless, in like so, let's let's just say that I haven't uploaded anything in over a year. Let's just say that I, I have, but again, it's not anything of value that's for the audience. It's more for me, right? Yeah. So, regardless of that, I have gotten over a hundred subscribers in that time. Not ba right. basically just letting the channel do its thing. I've gotten over a hundred subscribers, and. Um, yeah, I'm finding the same thing. Actually. Yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah. that is the that metric of you're growing exponentially, and you're not actually putting in the work, you know. Mm. And without recognizing that that's happening, without recognizing this exponential growth, you're missing a lot of the benefit, the reward to the hard work, you know. So I'm gonna start in January. Um, I'm going to create a spreadsheet. Like I, I'm gonna create mm. this document that I so I can track my rate of growth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put maybe we, I think it would be beneficial to do it weekly, mm -hmm. but I think, I think you'd see more trending if you do it monthly. Right. So I have an alarm on my phone that goes off, um, uh, 12 AM on the first of every month. So I'm going to, you know, cause that's, that's the morning time of that day, you know? So I'm going to start to, uh, to just measure, at, at that point, it's kind of like the base progression video. It's just a little snapshot of where my where my where my stuff is, and I'm gonna have a mark. It's gonna be uh, a couple metrics. So it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be what my um, subscriber number is. It's gonna be what my views number is, and mm. it's gonna be what my total number of videos is. And then I'm going to put next to that. I'm gonna use some math to figure out. Um, what the rate of change was from the previous week or the previous month, right? And that is going to tell me that, uh, and th this is going to be a good skill to get into, a good a good habit to form before I start putting up weekly content again. Because once I finish the, uh, um, once I finish the bootleg series, I have a series I'm going to start that is going mm. to be weekly for more than a year. Easy. Mm. Basically, all I'm going to do is people have been begging me to do a what they're calling a room tour mm. um, where I'm just going to go through everything in my collection. Yes, um, yeah. So, um, and I think it's, I think it's interesting enough and a lot of people just want to know what I have, you know? And I think it's yeah. actually like personally, it is a death sentence for collectors to, uh, to watch videos of people's collection. I do not watch anybody else's because it is a matter of seconds before you're on Amazon. <laughs> trying, uh -huh. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's like, uh, yeah, so I, I almost never do it. And I'm going to put a disclaimer at the beginning, just saying, you know, if I were you, I'd think long and hard if you have a spending problem before you watch this, because I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff that you have never even heard of. And I, I got to, you know, I got to be careful with people like this will put you in financial ruin, especially because I bought this stuff going back, you know, mm. a long time. So people are going to come into my my videos and they're going to be like how can you afford all this stuff it's like well i paid you know much less than this is worth now when i bought it you know um yeah. and a lot of people uh, who are new to collecting because i've been doing this for over 10 years now i mean this is a, this is a big um this is a big you know thing that i've done uh, in, with my life and and uh, i feel like i feel like uh if you want to be successful at something, you like if you, let me put it this way: if, if, as an entrepreneurial standpoint, um, you want to find where whatever you've been doing with your life, whatever that thing is that, jeez, oh, these blocks, whatever that thing is that you've been focusing on your whole life, that you have all this resource, you have all this knowledge. Don't waste your time learning something new. 
when mm. you've already, you know, like, uh, why, why waste my time, you know, figuring out how to be a computer programmer or do this or that when I already have something in my life that I, that has been my hobby that I devoted an enormous amount of time to that I could make money off of, you know? So yeah. that's, that's the thing, you know, it's like, and for you with the, um, with the music stuff, it's like, this is something that you do, like, this is your craft, you know, this is, this is your, um, this is something that, that you've devoted a lot of time to, um, and that you do, um, very well. So why, why learn to be a pro ball player now when you've already, you know, Aww. refined, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you've yeah. already refined uh, something that you're really good at and it's and because you've spent so much of your life doing it it's just proof that it's something that you love you know so why why wait why waste time you know trying to become something that you're not uh or you know it's just it's a lot of time to devote to uh, especially you know for people who are who are in school and stuff it's like why waste your time going down something that you think might um mm interest you but you're not sure you know yeah that, that I, I mean i often catch myself going oh man i just i should just give up music and focus on something else and then i'm thinking but hang on a second even if i try to in a month's time i'll be right back there doing it again yep. you know yep and if i sold all my gear i'll be like buying it back because it'd be mm -hmm. like oh, i need it yeah I need you know because it. it's a part of you it's your passion in life i i can't i'm underwater and i'm looking at a torch and it looks like the torch is underwater that is nuts. Yeah. Hey, now getting back to this YouTube stuff, right? Yeah. One second. Um, do you have shears? Because there's a lot of uh, cobwebs. I think I should save. Uh, I don't, there's plenty of iron around. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I just I mined a bunch off. Okay, so yeah, going back to YouTube. What's up? Um, so for for my music channel, right? I haven't done uh -huh. any uploads on there for a long time. Uh huh. But it's still <laughs> it's still pumping out views, right? It's still. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's still increasing in um, subscribers. Now, the thing is, right, um, it needs more attention. I definitely know it needs more attention. I've actually recorded a crap load of videos for it, right? Mm -hmm. Some of them I'm never, ever going to release, <laughs> mm -hmm. ever, um, because I don't believe the quality is there. Yeah, I don't know, I've, I've I now, I've now, I've now got this problem where I've recorded stuff, and I think, well, I can actually do it better than that. I'm not sure I'm going to release uh, that. You know, think about it this way. If you were to put out one of those videos, and let's just say it would make you back, you know, um, 50 cents per hour you put into it for the first, you know, cycle of people viewing, right? That's your mm -hmm. your time, your energy. Like, you, you basically are making way below minimum wage. That's just the time you're making, right? Um, but if you redo it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times, you know, or, you know, even five, five or six times, um, or even just two, two or three times, um you're putting in significantly more time uh, for something that is probably going to change from a 50 cent per per hour to maybe 51 cent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And you just have to recognize that sometimes it might be better. It actually might be better to just release version A and then see where things go. Focus your energy on other things. Come back to it, release version B, especially with a channel that's fluid. My channel sucks for this because of the way I structured it. Um, I can't get away with um, what I'm doing, like doing it that way. I can't get away with not, um, like I, I can't, I can't release and then re-release things, you know? Um, I just, I don't feel like I have that yet, you know? But mm -hmm. your channel being, being more fluid, and I think that, I think that the brilliant thing about YouTube is that uh, the... Oh, these signs are from the squid farm. I'm like, why do I have so many signs? Um, the brilliant thing about about YouTube is that you have that opportunity to uh, um, to be not professional looking, you know, and that mm. that is such a huge asset because it lets you get away with with producing content. And honestly, if you want to be successful on YouTube, if you want to make money on YouTube, you that's the route you have to take. You have to take the route of banking on the fact that people are, I mean, you have to stay engaging. You have to stay well rested. You have to stay energetic. You have to stay on topic. You have to stay, you know, focused. But your content can be a little bit lackluster uh, to a degree and, yeah, and that'll be okay, you know? Yeah. I'm so glad they took out this thing where you don't need silk touch on your shears anymore. 
Oh, really? For cobwebs? Yeah, they took oh. it out. Oh, that one's... <gasps> okay. Lava. Lots and lots and lots of lava. And a skeleton. Oh, man, I am just terrible at this. Oh, I hit, I hit his arrow out of the air. <laughs> I shot it with my arrow. Did you record that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, it was probably a visual glitch. You know how sometimes when you when you shoot them, the arrow just shoots backwards at you? Mm. Like this does that super thing. But it, it looked like I hit one of his arrows. Oh. What do you think I'm going to catch down here? Shucks. Take that out. I don't see like any of the particles that I normally would see around it. Like normally when you're in fishing mode, there's like... Oh, there it's going. It's, look at it's flowing up to the top. Uh, someday I want to go to height limit and fish and have somebody down way at the bottom to let me know when to reel it back in and just launch that fish way up in the... Mm. I think that would be a fun thing to do. I wonder if the particles, because we're so deep, I wonder if the particles will come get it all the way down here. Sometimes I've noticed that it dips down without particles around it. And you can actually reel it in and get fish. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Do you see the placement on that change midway through? On your arrow? Mm-mm. Hmm. -mm. Yeah, it did. did Wait, I get, yeah, that was a bone. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's a creeper up here. Really? Hmm. Oh, I fell. Oh, I got the... I think I caught the... Uh, oh, no. I flew right past the gunpowder as it was falling. <laughs> oh, can you grab Can you grab some of the picks? Because I, uh, I don't want to waste this pick because it has mending on it. Where are you going? <laughs> um, that's the uh, end of All the right. circle right here. You want a pick? Yeah. I was... Uh, Oh, I got a got a full inventory. Hold on, maybe I should go. Just just throw one at me. Uh, here's some string. I need to go back to drop stuff off before I can keep going anyway. So. No! <laughs> what the I, hell? I threw my mending pick and the creeper flew. 